focus. Ideal. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. I'm Curry and you're watching Part 5 of the Semi-Final Round. 15 teams from India's premier institutes are battling headfirst into this prestigious marketing competition and only three will move on to the grand finale from here. Today, our final three teams are Team GI Marketers from Goa Institute of Management, Team Nagina from IIM Lucknow and Team Yellow Submarine from IIM Calcutta. It's time now to meet the jury panel for the day that will decide the fate of the teams coming up. First up, we have Anand Rangaswamy from CNBC TV 18. Next, we have Venkatesh Babu Ramanathan, Global Brand Director for Purit. And Shivam Puri, General Manager Water, India Business from Hindustan Unilever. Welcome judges. Alright, and coming up, the first team to make its presentation is team GI Marketers. You all know the rules. You have three minutes on the clock to make your presentation. We will stop it at a buzzer and then there will be a Q&A with the jury. Ready? Yes. Set. Your three minutes starts now. The key objective identified by the group are creating a need perception towards purifiers, develop the brand relevance of Purit, drive traffic towards online point of sale and explore innovative routes to market. From our research, we know that a very high percentage of TG are aware of the water purifiers, but roughly one third of them do not use it. Also, very high percentage of TG are unaware of the cost benefit of using a water purifier as compared to bottled water. The consumers are unaware of the quality of the drinking water and have a strong reliance towards boiling. Women are the key decision makers and uh, are willing to try new purification me methods are willing to try new purification methods for the children. However, there is a low perceived differentiation between products of different brands. After sales service along with past experience and pure feedback are the key influences towards a brand. The three, uh, in three main reasons for low penetration are lack of motivation and social pressure to purchase a purifier and uh, also lack of knowledge towards quality of their drinking water. The objective of our communication strategy is to highlight category need, to increase brand awareness and to increase trials. The primary target audience for this would be new category users. Uh, using the IDA model to achieve the stated objectives, we would spread awareness for the need for water purifiers, generate interest by educating the consumer about drinking water quality, uh, create a desire to purchase by motivating uh, consumers to check their own water quality, finally drive action by recommending the right product fit. The implementation would be in three stages. First, lead consumers to self-discovery about their drinking water quality. Second, shift focus to emotional benefits, uh, building brand personality by emphasizing on the trust factor through Safely For You, aiming at the right product fit, ensuring product quality by offering a five-day money-back guarantee, building a strong customer service reputation, and inducing product experience via Purit vans at Mondays and kiosks, kiosks at offices and malls. Lastly, we aim to increase the share of voice of Purit using uh, through the line marketing to aid brand recall, engaging the uh, target group in a dialogue via social media and Purit Pledge campaign, and running educational camps and safe water seminars in collaboration with schools and NGOs. To achieve these, we plan to implement the following campaign ideas. Jalotsa partners with local schools in all 632 districts of India to collect water samples from their respective communities with the help of school students, our Pani Ke Rakshaks. These samples will be tested and results for each region will then be put up on our Purit website as a safe water map. The website will make recommendations based on water quality of specific areas or prompt the consumer if he does not need a purifier at all. Service alarm. To highlight the expertise of our service team, we will install a GPS-enabled service button on the product. The service will be only a button press away and the visit details will be promptly shared with the customer. Period pledge. Anyone can take up a cause for an organization such as a public hospital or a school which are lacks access to clean drinking water. The person will then make up a case for themselves in the form of a video post and share it through, through our social media channels. HUL will then fulfill the top 10 pledges. For route to market, we have direct channels. Tie up with housing developers to prefit optimally suited purifiers in upcoming real estate projects and collaborate with Indian Railways for a pilot project to provide a purifier in each of the new LHB coaches. In direct channels, the idea is to leverage HUL's existing distribution expertise and develop leads through LCD devices as entry-level empty outlets and PUS material in general trade. Finally, in rural market, we intend to put our product in Khad Bandas and play on the proposition. Thank you. So I understand you want to take an approach that says it should be about discovery, self-discovery of the quality of water. So I'm not very clear how that then is linked with the shift to emotional benefits of the product and creating a trust perception. So, uh, sir, as of now, uh, through our interviews and uh, research, we found out that the consumer is aware about the water verifiers. They know what the benefits of it are. They understand their water quality is not pitch perfect. But they say that we don't need it. Our water is good enough for us. 
your water would be better, but our water is good enough for us. So we want to tell them the water quality that you have at your place is not, first of all, good enough. And secondly, we, they are just tired of, the first, the first idea was to do a lab test for ourselves and then put it across to the consumer. The consumer said that can be a gimmick by the company. We don't trust you. Everybody is in the marketplace to sell. The regular Joe in the market is smart enough today. They're sick and tired of being marketed to 24-7. So the idea is to lead them to that path and say, this is your water quality and this is our product. Now you need to trust us and that's about it. That's why we mentioned that in the districts that the water quality is good enough. We don't need to suggest a product that you need this. Tell me how scalable is this idea? How big can this potentially become? Because there is cost involved here. And uh, you know most of the good ideas do not see light of the day because when it comes to scalability, there's a fair amount of cost that you need to incur. Right. So if I were to force you to now think, say what is your biggest idea? What would that be? So, so the idea of Jalut service for this year, like whichever you do it first, is to collect water samples. This is to let uh, let the people decide for themselves whether they need a water purifier. We are just making them as a company. I'm just making them aware of the fact that you know this is the water quality you have. In terms of how scalable it is, Jalotsa can uh, remain as it is, the name remains as it is. Every year you can have a campaign. No, no, that how, how will they? See, you're not thinking through the process. Now, you, I've heard about Jalutsa because you told me through a TVC or a print ad or something. Right? right? right. I've heard about it. Right. Now, what do I do? So, in case of inclusivity, your no. NUA is collaborating. No, what do I do now? So Tell me next for, step. For the first year, for no. the first year, there is okay. not enough uh, that the consumer, uh, not more that the consumer has to do. So, we tie up with schools. Ah. Every school in... No, uh, no that, that's what I'm saying. Then so you tie up with schools. So, right. there's a cost. That is what Shivam is talking about. Collecting samples, right. tying up ah. with schools, all right. of so it comes at a cost. Uh, this uh, this activity we aim to run towards the summer vacation that the school kids have because then it, uh, that, is, that is the time when everybody is free and most of the time is just idle wasted away. So this is one productive thing they can do. Also it's good for the parents also because the children are doing something. So you recommend the brand drops everything else and puts the entire money on Jalotsa? No, no, you, no just, you, just, you just need a core team to handle Jalotsa at the, at the main and point. And how big do you think you want to make it? Uh, all 632 all 630 all districts 630. of India. Every district, uh, so we plan to do it at uh, seven a, class 7 or 8, uh, eight wow. students can That help. doesn't leave us with any money to do anything else. Huh? Uh, so if at all you have the money. You have the money. <laughs> okay, good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Next up, we have team Nagina from I am Lucknow. You guys ready? Yes. yes. You have three minutes on the clock. At the end of which, there will be a Q&A with the jury. All set. Your three minutes starts now. Hi, team. Let's discuss our ideas about the Purit project. Gitanjali, why don't you share your insights with us? Sure. One, people don't appreciate the need to purify drinking water. Two, even if they do, they don't know which purifier suits best. Three, neighbors and family are a strong influence. It appears this is a category where people in the same area would make similar purchases. Three broad segments emerged. Users of tap water, users of purification methods other than water purifiers and users of water purifiers. So we should target our awareness and activation programs towards the first two segments since our intention is to increase the size of the pie and then grab a share of it. Maybe we should look at an engagement activity at the colony level. Let's launch the Purit Colony Drive. In stage one, we will focus on information dissemination. We will identify five, six colonies in areas with poor water quality, approach their RWAs and test the quality of water in their tanks. An event will be organized where results will be shared with the residents. Medical experts and Purit representatives will impart knowledge about waterborne diseases and purification methods. Yes. Pre-bookings at this stage will help facilitate the installation and servicing drives in stage 2 of the Purit weekend. Limited period offers will be extended to consumers partaking in the drive. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Another insight is that people fail to realize that visibly clean water also contains a lot of invisible impurities. I propose the campaign, Jo Dikta Hai, Wo Hota Nahi. This can be related to multiple events in our everyday life and will facilitate better connect with the consumers. Infographics and articles on social media platforms like Facebook and the website blog will help educate the customer. Yes, as an engagement activity in malls, we will set up huge glass-like structure with blue and brown balls. The challenge will be to find the smaller brown balls or impurities in return for gift hampers and pure discount coupons. Hmm, the teacher is increasingly searching for information and purchasing consumer durables online. We should leverage e-commerce channels on three broad themes, fitness, beauty and pregnancy, and take advantage of the location information of registered users. For example, a user searching for fitness products on Flipkart will receive pop-ups asking if he knows the importance of drinking adequate water to stay fit and how clean is the water in his locality. This will redirect him to the appropriate page. 
Similarly, ads in YouTube workout videos can be used to show water breaks when instructors drink water from Purit and highlight the importance of staying hydrated. Home search portals can be used to prompt users to check the water quality of the area before buying and lead them to buy a water purifier online. Yes, and consumers prefer a hybrid shopping experience, a mix of both online and offline modes. I propose a model involving order receivable from portals like hamarashop.com, hyper localization of stocking points by tying up with local stores for faster last mile delivery, onboarding of third party logistics provider for delivery and payment gateways including mobile payment solutions. These recommendations should help us to drive category expansion for water purifiers and build brand purity in particular. Thank you. What is the biggest issue uh, uh, that water purifier as a category faces today? So the two main issues that we observed in the mm -hmm. primary research were that um, a they did not know that uh, so, vis so they see visible cues that uh, if I have a glass of water which is clean looking they just disregard the fact that there are invisible impurities also in that water so they take visible cues a and b that uh, the water quality they are not aware of the water quality that they're receiving so the what so in a colony where water comes from they don't know if what is the best purification method for do I need an RO do I need UV what's the best method so these were the two main insights. And what you are recommending uh, to do, you think will uh, yes. take care of both these concerns? Yes, yes. because uh, so, so the jo dikta hai wo hota nahi campaign focuses on making consumers aware that visibly clean looking water may have invisible impurities and need to be careful. And through the purit colony drive, when we engage with them on a colony level, because that's how these purchases in this category are being made, that's what our research showed. We are telling them that, uh, so we are uh, not the main people who are giving the message in a pure colony drive. Yeah. Those are medical representatives and doctors who are saying that we tested your water, your water, this is the contam these are the contaminants present and this thus is the best How scalable method. is the colony drive that you are talking about? There is a cost in all there. Yes. yes. How scalable yeah, do yeah. you think is driving? So you got into yeah, so it is. Uh, so we go into the. Uh, so one because is. that seems to be one of the main themes of yes, what yes, you're yes. building your campaign around. And I have serious uh, questions around the scalability of this idea. Um, so. Number one, we are looking at those areas in a particular city which from our MCD reports reveal that they have bad quality water. Number two, we are, look, we are looking at some five, six colonies for our initiation purpose that we identify these colonies and we launch our campaign in these colonies in the first run. And later we want it to trickle down uh, through word of mouth and we want these colonies to actually invite us and do the water testing for them. Right? And the costs have been mentioned in the sheet like we, we have, uh, we've come to around some 40,000 uh, per colony that we need to spend including the logistics involved for one, the, the third party testing labs that we're involving which is uh, going to do a, a water tank so level So if you do 100 testing. colonies you spend 4 crore rupees. So what we have that uh, effective way of uh, so uh, no so we, we don't go to all the colonies we go to the colonies which have bad quality water and then create a publicity out of it which uh, which makes them realize that okay so we we necessarily don't have to do this water quality testing in all of the colonies we are doing it as a pilot we are sending out a message that yes you need to do this activity this is a so message how, that we're sending so how will uh, people know that you've done this activity so we will after we've done the activity the clips uh, will be acc accumulated this will be um, uh, pu publicized in two levels, one through the local newsletters that are distributed in that community, uh, the local media, and then we'll scale it up to social media and also the uh, news channels where we can have a small program where we will uh, broadcast this particular activity. And you, you have any idea of the cost? Yeah. Of, you have any idea of the cost of putting it in newspapers? You might want to... So, uh, what we anticipate is that we have calculated the cost for a colony of, say, a size of 100 houses. What we anticipate is that through the first phase of our uh, drive, we will be able to generate demand in, say, roughly 25 houses. And when we do the cost, uh, when we do the revenue figures for those 25 houses, if we are selling our base model, uh, which is the manual fill model, or the automatic fill model, or the RO model for that matter, any of these th three approximately, we should be able to break even. A. Also, uh, what we anticipate is that once we have done this uh, exercise across some four to five colonies, and then we make a video out of that, which we publicize through social media and possibly through TV moving on. Thank you, team. Okay, time for another short break. On the other side, our final team presents and we find out which three teams make it to the grand finale of this mega marketing competition. Stay tuned. 
Welcome back. You're watching Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 7. It's time for the final team to make their presentation. Team Yellow Submarine from IIM Calcutta. Welcome. You all know the rules. You have three minutes to make your presentation and then a Q&A with the jury. Ready? Your time starts now. The quality of drinking water is a major concern for Indian households. Purification of water was limited to basic boiling and filtration techniques for 55% of our respondents. Purchase is an informed decision. 80% customers took look for demo and depend on inputs from others. Around 30% hot leads get converted on persuasion. Now a campaign idea hinges around two basic. Daily, building category relevance and hot lead generation. Objective one is the market plan. So the, we call it the water doctor. Water doctor phase one uses relative water grading and swab testing. By locality wise relative water quality index, we aim to convey potential threat by hitting at the identity of a locality, a comparison exercise that will raise questions in their minds. The individual swab test will be reinforcing agent, this time at a household level, assuming recall of the previous day's stats. Followed by a month long ATL campaign with the message, don't boil it, pure it. We aim at engaging with kids as change agents in an interactive way, ensuring graphics and swab supply be simple to use and easy to interpret. Water Doctor Phase 2, which is in a month, it further bolsters up the agenda by featuring local faces who have converted to purit users and saw tangible benefits, asking those who still haven't a very valid question, Ab nahi to kab? The telephone numbers and retail addresses to order free tests will be provided to generate hot leads. Objective 2. Innovative Channels and RTM First is Purit Knowledgeable Seller Program, leveraging the influence of chemist advocacy to generate hot lead. This will add credibility to Purit as a health and wellness product while making use of existing channels. Chemists get a Purit unit at a reduced cost and commits to strong self-display and lead generation. The process will be few defined simple steps. Identify customers to be targeted based on medicines purchased, educate them, recommend a Purit demo, take contact, Share it with product sales team and earn commission if sales happen. The pharmacist today faces squeezing margins on drugs and this serves as an added source of revenue with little risk. Our second proposal is Purit Chetna Seller Program. Through this initiative, we plan to tap the social circle of our, uh, our satisfied entrepreneurial customer willing to contribute to the cause. For some segments of TG, easy EMI option could be clubbed with proposition of microfinancing institutions to tap their existing customer base. Objective 3, uh, e-commerce strategy. We will have strategic tie-ups with Amazon and Grofers. The idea is to tap in the customer base of our e-commerce partners. Uh, the advertisement placement uh, for the free water test would be in the checkout page after the purchase. On showing of the willingness by, by the consumer to get the water tested, we process the delivery kit and we, uh, we, uh, we send it in their order package. The Pure team follows, follows up the order lead. The advantages are easy and free water testing, uh, no major additional cost for our partners and target leads for Purit sales team. Uh, the overall idea of our campaign is uh, uh, to make the consumers to make the consumers aware of the inefficiency in the uh, current purification methods and drive through superiority of brand Purit. Okay. Tell me, sir, um, in this "Don't Boil It" uh, Purit campaign that you're talking about, you seem to be only talking to people who boil uh, water as a purification method today. Uh, is this what you will use for the entire portfolio because this seems to be an umbrella campaign that you're talking yeah, about so do you think let me complete the question so do you think this uh, applies to the entire portfolio or would you play it differentially for different parts of the portfolio so uh, as it was given in the case itself that only 25 around 25 percent of the prospective customers are into boiling others have their different methods like candle base filtering etc so don't boil it or it would be one aspect of the whole campaign we could have such catchy slogans for other purification methods as well. Like? Uh, like the candlestick filters. No, what is the what is Don't, the don't line? filter it. So, don't don't filter it. so it could be based on total cost of ownership. <laughs> Not like that. So we can talk about if you are using this filter, of this purification method, you will incur this much cost annually and comparing it with the cost of So what's of the, the overarching thought then? Then I got the thought wrong. What's mm. the overarching thought then? What's making the campaign idea? Making customers realize that their current purification methods are inefficient and incomplete and they need to move to a water purifier. Thank you. I'm not talking for a brief. I'm saying what's the campaign idea? That's the brief you will give to someone to come up with a campaign idea. What is the campaign what's idea? What's the campaign idea? So we'll be so 
uh, in the newspaper advertisements, we'll be sending swabs in the, on the front page. There'll be like uh, litmus papers, which people can dip in the water, and the color changes to indicate uh, impurities like lead, arsenic, etc. So, uh, so our idea is that, uh, so the first part of the campaign would initially have, uh, uh, say for Calcutta, the regions would be broken up into 10 parts. We, uh, on the front page of the newspaper, uh, on the ad, uh, as an advertisement, we break up the uh, uh, Calcutta city into 10 regions, and for each region, we show uh, the the uh, health index for for the for the uh, water there. The water quality index. Yeah, basically. So basically, so the which I locality? Where do you live, and which locality do you stay in? So in Calcutta, we live in Joka. You live in North. I mean, even otherwise, are you engaged in your locality? How many of us are engaged with our localities? Where Calcutta around Pandal and so on is a different discussion. Where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? I am from Allahabad. Okay, which locality? So in Allahabad, I live in a township which is located little far from the city. Okay. Would you compete with another township based on quality of water? But still we have that feeling that, okay, I belong to this locality. Of course you do. But yeah. would you compete with, maybe you will compete in cricket. Would you compete with them on water quality? Not compete, but that identity is something to which I feel attached. And if I see that identity on the front page of the news, say I am from a place called Fulpur. So if Fulpur comes in the newspaper, I, my eyes are definitely glued to that news article. Thank you team. Please step outside while our jury deliberates and pens the results. So I have the results. First of all, you guys did really well. So big hand for all of you. Well, really, really well done. Again and again and again. And I have the results. I'm going to get you guys and everybody else out of their misery. So, the three teams to make it to the finale for Lime 7 are first team... Lime Soda Bottle Opener from I Am Indoor. That's all right, guys. Well done. You guys are in the finale. Yay. Okay. The second team, second highest scores were by Escobis from FMS Delhi. Congratulations. And out of the 15 teams, the highest scoring team. I'm going for it. You ready? Okay, we're ready. Again, Spacers from SP Gen Mumbai. Come forward, guys. Congratulations. All of you also did really, really, really well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lime Season 7 would not have been anything without you guys. And, of course, without you guys. Thank you very much for your patience and your time in sitting here through the finale and the semi-finals for us. Join us next week as we reach the climax of this mega marketing challenge. The Prime Minister's pet project, Make in India, is what the teams have to dive into as they come up with a marketing plan to further this campaign and continue its momentum. Until then, from the entire team, many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.